Old Manipur's Working Journalists Union observed 46th Foundation Day. Chief Minister Nautam Ambiran appeals to verify news before publishing. Chief Minister Nautam Ambiran launches digital payment services and national generic document registration. And Chief Minister Nongtaman Biran declares people excluded from the National Register of Citizens NRC cannot enter and reside in Manipur. Hello and welcome to Impact News, watching primetime English news. I'm Kangsdom Shalira with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Old Manipur Working Journalist Union AMZU held its 46th Foundation Day celebration at Manipur Press Club today. Gracing the event, Chief Minister Nautam Ambiran appealed to media persons to verify news before publishing. He lauded journalists of the state for curbing unwanted incidents by being mature. Ambiran assured to consider about expanding the land allotted for journalists by the government at Lamfeld Pot. He assured to probe the matter about the controversial scraping of Amzu Corpus Fund. He also assured to increase the quota for DIPR identity card. Chief Minister Birent appealed to journalists to cooperate in the government's drive to curve drug and alcohol to minas from the state. Floral tributes were paid to deceased Amju members at the event. Chief Minister Birent also inaugurated a canteen called Manipur Organic Restaurant at Manipur Press Club and presented gifts to founder members of Amju and winners of the 9th Amju Sports Meet 2019 on the occasion. Democratic set up the diplomacy for state. Ne? Freedom of expression, constitution of Pivani, the other woman of the misunderstanding to a shape. Decency, moralities, Adugi. Kitten. Article 19, the one the curry high, two the curry high. Kitten the other. Amzuzi, Mapangal, coming day. But properly, with decency, with morality, criticize of you, Hajabri, the Penet. Criticize of the Tongue of the Penet. Speaking at the event, Amju President Kakching Tamam Bizoy called upon journalists of both the hills and the valley regions of the state to work in unity, stressing the need to employ government district information officers in every district of the state. Bizoy urged Chief Minister N. Biren to ease the plights facing those journalists without the IPR identity card while applying for a journalist pension scheme. He further appealed to expand the site at Lamfell Pot allotted for media person to buy the government and to increase the amount of journalist pension scheme. Mm. Magi picture of Kusuman, the Dagi Bara, Pito Pine, Manum Tak, Pamusu, Yawaba Pulamani. Aduna Hariba, Pamisin, the Lenanaba, a kind of press colony, must have a lot of the Hanagi Mamangi Sakana, Piram River, Lamase, Yam Piman, but the Maram Uraga, I see, Sibiasu and Alexin Biriba, Honorable Sibiaster Gay, Attention Broth of Zaraga, a quick Kazitan, Lamdu Pangani Havagi, Hazam Tamze. Chief Minister Nongtam Ambirant launched digital payment services and national registration at Infaltis DC complex today. Digital payment services will enable public to pay land taxes, renew and pay gun license fee, etc. without additional charges using ATM cards on POS and machine. While the National Generic Document Registration System will facilitate people in land value estimation and land registration. State government is providing the e-services in collaboration with HDFC Bank. Chief Minister N. Birent and Revenue Minister Karam Shyam and also distributed 11 POS machines provided by HDFC Bank to the SDUs and SDCs of the Infaltis District at the event. Forest and Environment Minister T. H. Shyam Kumar and Fisheries Minister and KEC also attended the event. 
Chief Minister Nong Thamban Biren declared that people excluded from the National Register of Citizens NRC cannot enter and reside in Manipur. He was speaking at the inaugural function of 50 capacity travel working women hostel at Adimjati Siksha Ashram in Imphal today. Manipur Tribal Development Corporation Limited constructed the hostel under NLCPR. Speaking at the event, Chief Minister Birent assured that government has kept strict vigils in the border areas of the state to prevent illegal entry of migrants. Stating that the NRC list is not finalized yet, Birent added that even the Union Home Minister Amit Shah assured the same during the recent NE Council meeting. Hanigi Ladyba existing laws. Nagal in the Ladyba, Arunasal the Ladyba, ILP Gi, Mizoram the Ladyba, Law in Amadu, even Akumanipurgi. Article 371C, Lady. Hi, report me, I'm a matter of trust or Harabin, Yam Kahena, a quish lady, the Sanga Kani, Nataka Kundagini, Havi, Pakaningalite, Aduki Matakta, Togosi Adu, Kantu Obusing the Huish, citizens, you people share. 2014 Gi, December Gitari, Kuntrama Trigi, Mamang the Lai Grabamadi, Mother the Clem Dogra Kangu Havani. Other Mashta Kuyam Kahena, me pining away the Ziribam, Mao, Mori, Aduga Airport, every police station, including Kaimaduki Seking, I'm going to conclude. Chief Minister Nongtama Birent inaugurated Natural Learning Center and Kampa Data Center at Matripuki Forest Office Complex today. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister asserted that the launching of various programs and inauguration of the infrastructure are part of the completion of 100 days of Prime Minister Narendra Modi led second term government and to mark the Prime Minister's birthday falling on September 17. He asserted that the Natural Learning Center and Kampa Data Center will contribute greatly in saving the environment. Biran expressed happiness at the good quality of the buildings worth 2.35 crore rupees. He presented gifts to the relevant officials on the occasion. Environment can be a future generation. I can just imagine that more money is there, but I am so ready to be the high level of the government. I am the more the meaning is there, the more the meaning is there. I am 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 more the Attending the program, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and Revenue Minister Karam Shyam stressed the need to amend laws from time to time. He stated that despite laws to save Bedi lanes, people continue to exploit the Bedi lanes by constructing various infrastructure in their strive for livelihood. Minister Karam Shyam also urged Chief Minister Nautama Biren to construct a new building of the Infatis DC office. Speaking on the occasion, Forest Minister T.H. Sam Kumar stated that Kampa Office and Data Center will contribute a great deal in saving the environment. He urged the public to put all out efforts in saving the environment. Highway Kumba, IPR Kumba, not rather than state the highway Kumba, put Mangat Tara, a Kitsamri Jagada, any shopping complex, not rather than a restaurant over, workshop over, any business he came over to work under the Mise Hingia. A quiz on the startup program, my amateur, by certain tons of poor people, Lamdule Draga de Hui, at the Tavos in the Pango Ponanti, Sarkarki rules came to in a lump people, yet I don't know, Manipur, Lamdi lay with Susan's in the Karimoka and the Shemto, Amento, Gitanai for the Malay. Educational, cultural and health organization ECO in a press release extended full solidarity to all the initiatives of Saddle Tribe Demand Committee Manipur STDCM for enlisting Maite Mite community in the Saddle Tribe list of the Indian Constitution. A class 11 girl student was found hanging in a suspicious manner at a courtyard of a resident under Imphal Police Station in Imphal West District today. According to Impact News sources, parents found her hanging at around 5 this morning. Imphal West Additional SP Law and Order, AZ Serma, and a team of Manipur Forensic Science inspected the site. They recovered a suicide note in the victim's room. Imphal Police Station has registered a case and investigations are underway. Police has taken the body of two rims mark for necessary investigations. 
A juvenile accused of raping a differently able girl at an undisclosed location under Wangui Police Station in Imphal West District was produced before Special Judge Boxo Imphal West today. The court ordered 15 days of judicial remand to the rape accused. The boy was arrested on September 9th and was earlier produced before the court on September 10th. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on opening of Saki One Stop Center at Mata Village in Georgiambo District. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. After the break, you're watching Primetime English News. Agriculture Minister V. Hankalian integrated Saki One Stop Center at Bimala Raina Higher Secondary School at Mata Village in Georgiambo today. Construction of the centre worth 41.73 lakh rupees under Swachh Bharat Abhiyan was funded by NEC Shillong Ministry of Donor Government of India. Minister Hankalin expressed contentment at opening of the centre that will extend help to women victims of physical, sexual, emotional, psychological and economic abuse. Agriculture Minister Vihan Kalian also integrated a wayside amenities constructed on the Swats Bharat Abhiyan Clean India Mission at Mata Village in Jorjampur District today. Northeastern Reason Community Resource Management Prozik funded the construction worth around 41 lakh rupees. The wayside amenities has four men and women rooms attached with bathrooms and toilets. Speaking on the sidelines, Minister Vihan Kalian urged the public to take care of government properties. He assured that government will construct wayside amenities at Singhat, Behiyang, Twila Fight, Malnyang, Swangdo and Kamwai villages in the near future. The minister handed over the keys of the wayside amenities to SHG Ngailut at the event. Textile Commerce and Industries Minister Tongambis was it integrated a factory unit of the Golden Trans Power Company at Terra Uruk Industrial Estate in Bistapur today. Speaking at the integrant event, Minister Viswazit stressed on the need to utilize available resources to transform the state. He also urged Golden Trans Power Company to manufacture export quality, quality products. Minister Biswazit stated that under the government's industrial policy, government will purchase 30% of all the products manufactured by companies. He opined that more entrepreneurs will cover unemployment issues in the state. People took out a mass rally carrying messages on various government schemes under such as Ayushman Bharat, Beti Basao, Beti Parao, Poshan Ma and Swasi Seva at Chandal District Headquarters today. SDO Loktung bombed Leander flag of the rally from indoor stadium Chandal. Many Asa Angawadi workers and helpers and members of various departments took part in the rally jointly organized by District Administration Chandal along with PHED Chandal, SDO Chandal, CMO Chandal and Social Welfare Department Chandal. The rally passed through Jaffa Bazaar and concluded at Chandal DC office complex where it was received by DC Chandal Krishna Kumar. SDO Chandal Loktung Bom Leander Streets on Beti Bajao, Beti Parao, while CMO Chandal Dr. Shertani Salbum spoke on Ayushman Bharat. Swasta Perak Tata Trust SVP Chandal Gersant Morong Tontang gave resourceful insight on Posen Ma and EE of PHED Chandal Segun Lent Lungdim Streets on Swasta He Seva at the event. Speaking on the sidelines, Deputy Commissioner Chandal Krishna Kumar asserted that the event aimed to raise awareness about various government schemes to the public.
Members of Nupi Kunai Chowkhat Kangklub, Ningtem Pukri Mapal carried out protest demonstration today against planting a bomb by unknown miscreants at the resident of Let Lampoklak Lemapokpam Megachandra at Wangkai Eang Pali in Infalt East last midnight. Taking part in the protest meet held at Ningtem Pukri Mapal Community Hall, President of Nupi Kunai Chowkhat Kangklub, Sorokhaibam Sachi strongly condemned the incident, which has created fear, psychosis, and panic to the wife of Let El Megachandra, El Ranjita and her children. She demanded those responsible for the act to give public clarification at the earliest. So she appealed to those concerned not to repeat such misdeeds again in future. Magi Nupasu Lejadraba, Masa Hunga, Maga, the Dukan, Masa, Maga, Pama Leja, Vasida, Naran, Dangi, Kangodana, Boma Malangsa, Lapuka, the Mogi, Imunja, Lavam, Savang, Kangana, Wari, Pakat, Patukatpa, Adi, Asova, Nupasu Lejaba, Masanova, class ten, and twelve Tamba, Makatan, Lavasida, Dumaita, Buduyam, Tina, Nuaiti, Akoi, Aduna, Sukumba, Tabakse, Matum, Mana, Yumlakta, Dumaya, Langsan, Basil, Langsan, Binu, Langsan, Libazu, Kari, Marangi, no warning, people Sulate, Karimba, Karimta, Hira, Pasulate, and Langsa, Lambasida, Imunja, Tumbum, Savang, Kang, the Bangarang, the Gin. Tabal district level debating competition on the team only law enforcement agencies cannot curb drug minas in the state was held at Lilong Hauribi College yesterday. Tawal District Police, in association with All Mighty Pangan Student Union, Pangan Student Organization, and All Manipur Muslim Students Organization organized the competition. Moirang Temp, a Masjid of DM College of Arts, back the first position. Hafiz Abdul Murad of DM College of Arts, back the second place. And Ronika Sorokhaibam of Tobal College secured the third position. Lilong MLA Abdul Nazir, Principal of Lilong Haurebi College, Dr. A. Surzit and S.P. Tobal, Dr. S. Ibumza, facilitated the winners. Tabal District observed the 17th World Suicide Prevention Day today. District Mental Health Program Office organized a program on the team working together to prevent suicide. Speaking at the event, retired CMO Dr. K.S.H. Manglem urged everyone to help people suffering from suicidal tendencies. Rotary Club to Infault in a press release informed that the club will organize a sport painting competition at Rotary Multi Service Center in Mantribuki on September 22. The competition will be held in two categories, Group A and B. Students from Class 3 to 10 can take part in the competition. Interested students may submit their names to their concerned school authorities. People paid turban offerings today at Ningti River is also known as Genuine River as a part of the Awakong Chat Lipunwari Expedition to Ottoman Mitawan Foundation in Myanmar. Chief Minister of Sekant, Dr. Mint Nyang, along with his cabinet ministers, Chairman of the Foundation, Romi Meiti, Convener of the Ekis Policy, R.K. Siv Chandra, and members of Mamitawan Foundation took part in the event. Thirty-eight Butlian to some rifles organized a close income certificate distribution program of the hospitality management training organized jointly by PN Regional Institute of Skill Development and 59th Mountain Brigade. Commandant VM Naitani presented gifts to the trainees. Kickboxing Association of Manipur, KEM, held its 25th Silver Jubilee and Annual Foundation Day celebration at Murangkom Junior High School in Yas School today. The association also accorded a warm welcome to MP Lok Sabha in Manipur, Dr. R. K. Ranjan, on the occasion. Speaking at the event, KAM President M.K. Presho Simbre stated that kickboxing has been recently listed in the Olympic Games, asserting that many kickboxing players of the state will participate in the Olympic Games to be held at Tokyo in 2024. He hoped that the players will bring laurels for the state. Manipur is a 
before we end let's take a look at the headlines once again all Manipur Working Journalists Union to observe 46 Foundation Day. Chief Minister Nongtaman Piran appeals to verify news before publishing. Chief Minister Nongtaman Piran launches digital payment services and national generic document registration. And Chief Minister Nongtaman Biran declares people excluded from National Register of Citizens NRC cannot enter and reside in Manipur.